two weeks ago, my maid of honor literally no call, no showed. No call, no showed. So it didn't call and didn't show up. Okay. My now husband and I had a private ceremony attended only by our parents, officiant and photographer. Sure, I didn't ask her to come to the ceremony or do much other stuff for the position, but all the more reason why I expected at least bare minimum. The weekend after our July 7th wedding, the reception was held in my parents' beautiful backyard. Guess who didn't show up? Guess who flew to Dallas instead? Yup, my shining maid of shame. <laughs> maid of shame. This girl who was her best friend forever, not just best friend, best friend forever, since freshman year of high school, did not attend either of my two bridal showers, made no attempt to throw me a bachelorette party and flew to Dallas four days before the reception. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> what best friend just doesn't show up to like their best friend's wedding? There's gotta be a reason, you know? I feel like I'm not getting the full story and maybe it's still not a valid reason, but like there has to be a reason. The maid of honor. Why is it always the maid of honor? Dang. Just 20, uh, what? Arrived an hour late, just 20 minutes before the wedding. She was not dressed for the wedding, but in gym shorts and a tank top. And her hair looked like she had gotten out of the pool. The dress that she was supposed to wear for the ceremony had not been tried on since it was left with the seamstress. And of course it was too long and too tight. She got so aggravated with those around her that she then threw her professionally dyed shoe at another bridesmaid and broke off the heel of her left shoe. Broken heel, dress too long and tight, hair all a mess. She decides to just sit in the middle of the floor and pitch a temper tantrum, screaming at the top of her lungs. Y'all, I don't know, but I feel like you gotta pick your maid of honors a little more wisely, which is like unfair to say, because obviously you're choosing your closest friend and then they disappoint you. Trust no one in life. Trust no one. If we've learned anything, trust no one. Not even on your damn wedding day. I got engaged last year and had our date and venue sorted early this year. Then my sister, who's my maid of honor, gets engaged a few months later. So exciting. She always said she wanted a small summer wedding with bare minimum guests, not in or near the town I grew up in. In short, she'd always been after something different than what I wanted for my wedding. Okay. Well, all that changed and she is now having a very large winter wedding with all of our family in the town. She'd always said she didn't want to get married in four weeks before my wedding. I'm trying not to not let anything get to me. All that matters is we're both happy, but damn it if it isn't difficult sometimes not to feel frustrated or competitive. I totally get feeling that way. You, could, you would kind of naturally just feel like your spotlight and your moment was kind of stolen. However, um, people change their minds, especially when it comes to their wedding. Maybe they envisioned their wedding would be small and not in that town. And then when they got engaged, they're like, oh my God, now I want a winter wedding with everyone. That's okay. You're gonna change. It's your wedding day, you know? My little sister was my maid of honor. We are very distant in age. She was 19 and too cool for everything. Oh, I miss being 19 and too cool for everything. I asked her if she wanted to be my maid of honor and told her everything she had to do. I was actually a very easy bride. I hardly asked anyone for anything and DIY'd my wedding. Good for you. She didn't want to go to the bachelorette party even though I planned it to happen in an all ages gay bar drag show. Oh! just so she could go. She did nothing for the shower unless my mother asked her directly. And even I ended up making up games and things to do. I mean, if you knew she was 19 and too cool for everything, maybe you should have picked someone else. I can't imagine a 19 year old being like my maid of honor. If you're significantly older, like at 29 years old, me, um, if I was getting married right now, I would not pick like my teenage sister. I would just be like, hey, you know, I need someone who's gonna commit. My wife's maid of honor. Why is, honestly y'all, this ain't even bridesmaids. This is maid of honors. This is like, damn, that's wild. It's always maid of honor. And like, you're supposed to be the best part. My wife's maid of honor said she could not come to our semi-destination wedding, eight hour drive or one hour flight uh, because she was broke. A few days before she broke the news to my wife, my wife saw on the maid of honor's IG that she bought a Louis Vuitton clutch and purse. Okay, so you're only broke because you spent the money you would have had for my wedding. Awesome, great, I'm so happy your priorities are in check. Cool. Every time I show my maid of honor <laughs> a dress, I'm getting sick of these freaking entitled maid of honors. Every time I show a dress I like, I get some great responses. 
You could wear that if you want to look like my grandma's curtains. That dress looks like it's made out of doilies. You're in your 20s, not your 80s. Oh, that is super cute if you're going back in time. 60 years for the wedding. What dress style do you have? Because <laughs> I feel like they're obviously all very vintage looking based on the comments you're getting. And maybe they're just being really honest, like letting you know, hey, you could wear that, but if you're asking my honest opinion, it's a little outdated. I mean, I would probably be that honest. If that's the type of friend I am, I will say it how it is. However, I would still be very supportive and like, you're gonna look beautiful no matter what. And if that's the style you're going for, it's your day, do it. You're gonna be beautiful. The disappearing act. Ooh, this sounds like a magic show. My maid of honor pulled out five weeks before my wedding. I still don't know why. She followed me to the toilet at my bridal party dinner and told me there. Okay, so she told you, but she didn't give you a reason why? I would have demanded a reason why in the toilet. In the toilet, I'm picturing like literally physically inside a toilet. <laughs> we don't call it a toilet, we say bathroom. Where is it that they call it toilet? Like, do you need to go to the toilet? Is it an English thing? I don't know why, but I just thought of like an English, like British accent. The jealous bridesmaids. I had four bridesmaids. Two were absolute gems and two were jealous, attention-seeking girls. The most I've ever met in my life. I've known these girls for 24 years. We were friends since kindergarten and pretty much best friends. The maid of honor had always had it out for me due to her jealousy from many failed relationships. Out of resentment, she dropped the F-bomb in her speech to annoy me after telling her that I will be having a lot of elderly guests at my wedding. She still proceeded to do that. We're no longer friends. The other bridesmaid woke up when we called her to ask where she was and she was nowhere to be seen all day. She tried on her dress three days prior to the wedding after being given the dress six months before. It was her responsibility to make sure it fit, but she but gave me no notice to alter it. Obviously I knew she would rip it, which happened within an hour before the church. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like if you, if they've been friends for 24 years, of course you're gonna ask them, but like why do they gotta be friggin' rude? I was gonna call them another word to be honest, but it'll get censored. I work 60 hours plus a week and I'm also a part-time university student and of course I'm planning my wedding for this summer. Today my maid of honor told me how behind I am in my wedding planning, which I have kind of been because I'm so busy. But then she told me I need to get started with the bridal shower planning. I didn't even think of the shower. I thought the bridesmaids were supposed to plan it. Plus I'm already so overwhelmed with everything else I have to plan. Okay. My maid of honor said she would take care of the bachelor at party. I told her I wanted to do months ago and the plans fell through. Now we're just going to my aunt's house for the weekend instead, which is fine. But then my maid of honor suggested having a duo bachelorette party for both myself and cousin. Okay, point of the story is that the maid of honor and bridesmaids clearly didn't really do what they're supposed to do because they are supposed to really help with planning and stuff. Like they are meant to make your life a little bit easier, especially if you don't have like a wedding planner. I mean, that's just the ceremony anyway. All the party stuff, like yeah, your bridesmaids kind of, you you know, have, have to help with that. Then the biggest thing was that I had asked my sister-in-law, my matron of honor, matron, maid, matron, to do the toast at the reception because of my maid of honor's behavior at the shower. Apparently my maid of honor told my sister-in-law that she wanted to do it and had prepared a toast. We get to the toast and she refuses to do it. Cool, awesome, thanks so much. So there's this awkward silence while I'm looking at them, wondering what is going on, and luckily my sister-in-law got up and gave a lovely toast for us. After that, my maid of honor disappeared and went home early. I haven't spoken to her since the wedding. What's your problem? Especially all these people ghosting, like at least give me an explanation. If you're gonna be rude and ruin my wedding. Like that's the least you could do. All right guys, these bridesmaids, mostly maid of honors, which like, not very honorable. They were just not very nice. They were not good at their jobs. I feel like if you could redo it, you'd probably pick new ones. If you guys have similar stories, let me know in the comments. I love reading them. I'm out of here though. Stay classy and stay sassy. I'll see you another one. Bye. Bridesmaids that ruined their best friend's wedding. And no, I have not figured the rest of my film set up yet, but I am getting there. <laughs> Am I, or am I not getting there? We'll see, I have some ideas. I like, oh my God, my nose is drippy. Oh my God, my hair's a damn mess. Oh no, oh no. 
it just, this is what happens after an hour of sleep, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Excuse me. Y'all, if I'm being honest, I slept one hour last night. One hour, okay? I was up all freaking night till 5.33 a.m. Was the last time I saw the time. And then I slept for about an hour. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.